How do you feel when you achieve a goal? Give me a few words. Satisfied, positive, upbeat, okay? So positive, satisfied, upbeat when you achieve a goal. The reason why you feel positive, satisfied, and upbeat when you achieve a goal is that we've got the neurotransmitters in our brain. And those neurotransmitters, actually, one of them is called dopamine. And what happens is when you achieve a goal, the dopamine kicks in. It's known as the feel-good chemical. The dopamine kicks in, makes you feel better because you achieved a goal. Dopamine it impacts the way we react to things. It kicks in after we've done something good. So what I'm going to suggest to you is five daily micro goals that will get dopamine kicking in that will make you feel better and will also help you to engage your employees. Anthony Trollope, the English writer, said that a small daily goal, if truly done daily, will beat the labours of a spasmodic Hercules. A small daily goal, if truly done daily, will beat the labours of a spasmodic Hercules. What I'm putting to you is five micro goals that if you do on a daily basis, it will change the atmosphere, change your organization. Those five micro goals, chaps, uh, actually spell out the acronym, chaps. And there is a one-page handout on the table for everyone. So if we can remember the chaps acronym, it's going to make a difference. I'm going to ask you another question. Would you agree that when someone compliments you, you feel better about yourself? Yeah? Would you agree that when someone compliments you, you're likely to feel a closer bond to that person? Right? Okay, yes. So we'll flip it around another way. Would you agree that if someone compliments you, you're likely to feel better about yourself? Yeah? Would you agree that when someone compliments you, you're likely to feel a closer bond to that person? Yeah? Compliments work. It's the first letter or first micro goal in the acronym CHAPS. And here's, here's the, the, the question I would put to you, and then we'll put it into a daily micro goal. The question is, how often do you compliment other people's work? How often do you compliment colleagues? How often do you compliment your employees? I'm not asking necessarily for an answer now, but I'm asking you to think about it. So, the micro goal I'm going to put to you is that my micro goal is that when I get back to the store on Monday, I will compliment one of my employees. Let's start with one. The idea is that if I compliment one, one employee and I've set it as a micro goal, I will go into the, the store, I'll compliment Jose or Jeff on doing a, a good job and having merchandised the end well. What happens is that when I'm complimenting Jose or Jeff, because I've set it as a micro goal, I'm going to hear myself saying, hey, I've achieved my micro goal and I feel slightly better about myself. But how do you think Jose or Jeff is going to feel? They're going to feel, they're going to feel good, way better about themselves as well. A simple daily micro goal to compliment one employee each day. You can go further if you wish, but let's start with the one. It will make a real difference. Now, I've had a few people say to me, well, Connor, that compliment has to be authentic. And I said, of course it does. And people say, well, what if the, you can't compliment someone in your organization? I say, you should leave. My basic view is that if you're working in an organization where you can't find one reason every day to compliment someone, wow, I'm not sure whether you should be in that organization or you've got a major challenge to actually improve the situation. But a simple goal that can make a real difference to you is compliment someone every day. A simple micro goal that will help you to create a better brand experience for you, for the people around you, for your clients, compliment someone. So the micro goal is compliment at least one person every day. A simple daily micro goal to compliment one employee each day, it will make a real difference. A second micro goal, chaps, that will help you to get more engaged employees, which will help you to get better customer satisfaction, is H in chaps. And H is for here. And you're saying, huh, what did he say? I mean, here, the words, thank you. So that chaps is the first element of the gift of gab goals. What do I want to be famous for? 
And I think if you have a clear idea on that, you can implement the CHAPS concept. And when you implement the CHAPS concept, you're going to get way more engaged employees. You're going to get more better customer satisfaction as well. And what I'm providing here is five micro goals that if you adopt them and adapt them will make a difference to your teamwork and your effectiveness and your productivity. Anthony Trollope, the English writer, said that a small daily goal, if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules. A small daily goal, if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules.